let us discuss this very important theorem okay so it is very interesting also let us discuss its proof so as you can see here <coughs> there is if and only part so that means we have to prove in both ways let us start for one part i am assuming this thing and i am going to prove this part okay let us start assume that limit z tends to infinity f of z is equal to w not okay so obviously using epsilon delta definition i am going to prove it so let us take epsilon first let epsilon greater than 0 be given okay after that we can use this given information so by definition of limit as you know we can write so therefore there exists delta greater than 0 such that mod z greater than 1 by delta implies mod f of z minus w naught less than epsilon getting so maybe you are thinking why i have written this mod z greater than 1 by delta since z approaches to infinity as you can see here if z approaches to a particular point z naught then we write 0 less than mod z minus z naught less than delta but here z approaches to infinity so that's why i'm writing mod z is greater than 1 by delta delta is very small positive real number when you take reciprocal of very small number you take a very huge number so it is greater than a very large number so that's why it approaches to infinity getting so this is the actual concept behind it let us go further after that what will i do i'm going to replace z by 1 by z let us see what we'll get right here replacing z by 1 by z we get let us see what will you get here if you replace z by 1 by z so 1 by z greater than 1 by delta implies here mod f of 1 by z minus w naught less than epsilon so see if you take reciprocal of both sides what will happen you will have mod z and here you will have delta so you know that when we take a reciprocal inequality will get changed so that's why instead of gre having greater than we will have less than here and obviously it is greater than zero if it is zero then we will have zero at denominator it won't be possible so that's why obviously mod z greater than zero let me continue so this is mod f of 1 by z minus w naught less than epsilon what will I do? I am going to do a small adjustment. That is 0 less than mod z minus 0 less than delta. See, both of them have the same meaning. z minus 0 means z itself. So, you will have the same step back. Implies mod f of 1 by z minus w naught less than epsilon. We are already familiar with definition of epsilon delta definition of limit. So, we have got the same thing. So, what can we write? Tell me. So, therefore, therefore we can write limit here z minus 0 that means i should write z tends to 0 this is my function f of 1 by z and what is my limiting value w naught so this thing we have got i think yes we have to prove the same thing okay so now we have to prove the converse part i'm going to do it by assuming this part we are going to prove the first half okay make a screenshot of it then we will go further so now let us discuss converse part in converse part, I have assumed this part, as you can see on the screen, and we have to prove the first half. So let us take one epsilon first, since using epsilon delta definition, we are going to prove. So I take an epsilon greater than zero be given. So let us use the definition now. By definition of limit, what can we write? There exists delta greater than zero such that, can you tell me what can we write here? zero less than mod z minus zero z approaches to zero so that's why i'm writing this is less than delta implies mod what is our function f of one by z and the limiting value w naught which is less than epsilon so let us work on this thing which we have got here see you know that uh, z minus zero is z so therefore zero less than mod z less than delta implies mod f of 1 by z 
minus w naught less than epsilon. So now I'm going to use the same technique. I'm going to replace z by 1 by z. So yeah, let me write replacing z by 1 by z we get. Let us see yeah, what will it get. So here we will have 0 less than mod 1 by z less than delta implies mod f of. So if you replace z by 1 by z, z will be in denominator of denominator. So it will shift to the numerator. So therefore we'll have f of z minus w naught less than epsilon. See what will happen. I'm going to take a reciprocal of both sides and what we'll get. So, so therefore if you take it through reciprocal, we will have a z at numerator. And here we will have 1 by delta. So as you know, when we take a reciprocal, inequality will get changed. So instead of having less than, we will have greater than. So it is greater than 1 by delta implies mod f of z minus w naught less than epsilon. So again, we got that definition here. Okay. So therefore, what can we write by definition of limit? z approaches to infinity since mod z, its value is greater than 1 by delta. So you we will have a huge value. So that's why z approaches to infinity. What is our function f of z and its limiting value is w naught. So we got this one. Yes, the same thing we want. Okay, in this way we prove this theorem. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop here. Bye.